All right, today we're gonna to be talking about the best family friendliest beaches that Long Beach has to offer. And we're gonna be combining that with the 3.1 mile long bike path that runs across all of the beaches before it connects to the San Gabriel Riverbed for another 29 mile ride. So if you wanna get a good bike ride in, that's the one to do. Now, along the way down the bike path, I will show you certain beaches that I would not recommend for taking your child down there, and I will give you the reasons why for those. But I will also show you what beaches are made specifically for the little ones, and what beaches are made for more family outings. Now, for your safety, the city of Long Beach has implemented rules and regulations, such as no open fires except for in designated fire pit areas. No fireworks, no firearms, no alcohol. And the beaches do close at 10 o'clock p.m. And it is kind of funny because when you do go down to the family beaches, you will see a lot of the parents carrying red cups. I wonder what's in those. Huh. So before we go down the beach, I've got to get the business out of the way. My name is Steve Arthur and I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area and all of the surrounding cities powered by nationwide real estate executives. Now, if this is your first time seeing me here on YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you will be notified every single time that I do put out a video. And I do put out these videos every single week, all about Long Beach, all about the surrounding cities, and it's all about the things that you want to know about, where you want to live, where you want to eat, and of course, where you want to play, and even the family's friendliest beaches in Long Beach. So if you or anybody you may know is thinking about relocating to the Long Beach area, all you have to do is give me a call, shoot me a text, send an email, or just register on my website for your free gift and I will personally call you so I can have your back on your next move. So let's go down to the beach, let's go. Right now we're close to downtown Long Beach and all of it has to offer, including it's one time a year, the party that just rolls in like rolling thunder. The Long Beach Grand Prix, bringing in hundreds of thousands of people, also bringing in millions of dollars to the economy. It's a great, fun week. And it only lasts a week, but it is huge. And these beaches, yeah, they can get pretty busy during those times. For today's video, we're going to be combining the bike path here you see with the most family-friendly beaches that Long Beach has to offer. Now, this is your typical August morning here in Long Beach. It's overcast in the morning, but it will burn off and it will be a beautiful sunny day. Now, this bike path starts at Shoreline Village and it stretches 3.1 miles across the sand. That gives you something pretty good to look at when you're riding your bike, jogging, skateboarding, whatever you do for your cardio exercise. And the bike path consists of two six foot lanes for you ride for both ways. So it's very functional. And the lane I'm standing on right now, this is the one five foot lane that is the pedestrian lane. So you can walk, do your fast walking, do whatever you gotta do here on this lane. So they try to make it pretty easy to come down here Get a workout, as you can tell by the activity, there is a lot of bikes going behind me, a lot of people walking here, back and forth. As we make our ways down the bike path to the family-friendly beaches, we're gonna be crossing some different beaches like Juanapero Beach, AKA Cherry Beach, uh, Granada Beach. It's just a good way of a meeting place to identify where you're gonna be, say, hey, I'm gonna be at Juanapero Beach. So they know to go to Juanapero, get right off right there and meet you down here. And it is overlooked by Bluff Park up on the hill. So I'm going to take you up there also. We can sit on the benches, enjoy the views. It's very relaxing up there. Now, another part of my job as a realtor is to kind of tell you the negatives about the area that you think you might be purchasing in. And one about this one is I would not recommend this as a family friendly beach. This is a beautiful beach. It's great for workout. You got beautiful scenery. You got Queen Mary there, the Spruce Goose Dome. This is gorgeous to look at. But lately, and I don't know if it's because of the apocalypse that's going on now or just what, because there've been a lot of reports of getting needles in the, in the sand here and broken glass. So therefore, I wouldn't 
bring my kids down here to let them run around all day long. If you want to come down here, lay out and get a tan, get some color, whatever, yeah, just wear some shoes and look at your area, put a towel down, and you're going to be fine. So this is Bluff Park where you just want to come and relax, sit back and enjoy the views. You can look at the ocean, you can look at the oil islands, the people going by on the bike path, the pedestrian path, and then even the pier over there, which I'm going to take you to in one more second. Now here's a little known fact right about this exact area right here on Redondo and Ocean Boulevard. This is one of the most popular remote control airplane places in the world. Now, the reason for that is because you get the south-southeast winds come to the south-southwest winds, and they're working with the offshore winds coming up this slope. And what this does, it creates a natural vortex with Palos Verde Peninsula right there. So right here on this very spot, you have a vortex that is worldwide famous for flying remote controls. You could just be driving down Ocean Boulevard any Sunday, Saturday, and you will see people lined up here flying their planes. It's pretty cool to watch. On to the next one, because you can't miss this one. On your bike ride you're on your jog whatever you gotta stop off here at the belmont brewing company right here at the belmont veterans pier to get a handcrafted beer they are so good here. you'll love them let's check out this place beach but it's still not on my list of the family friendliest beach Okay, this is one of my favorite beaches. This is where I used to always take my son when he was a little kid. And in a few months, I'm gonna be taking my grandson here because I'm expecting a little grandbaby uh, October 21st. So that baby will be swimming here because this is one of the most fam familiest, friendliest beaches in Long Beach. This is the peninsula. This place is so great for the kids here. There's so much activity going on around me right now. There's families left and right. Uh, this is just a great place to swim, great place to bring the little kids. They can swim out here, they can play on their boogie boards, they can do everything. There's, there's no waves here, and you can just sit up here, have your red cup, put up your pop-up, and enjoy your day. So let's go down to the next stop. It's right down the street, and you might like this one a little bit more too. Let's go. Yes, right there is where Billy Bob was serving up those cocktails. So this is Horny Corner. Now, I can tell you exactly how it got its name, but uh, I don't want to ruin it for your illusion. But anyways, this is the bay. Regardless of the name, this is the bay, and it is also a fantastic family-friendly beach. So what's really cool about this is they actually shut down the road, so it makes it nice and easy for families to get in and get out. Let me show you what I mean.
Handball on the beach. Basketball on the beach. Here you got your paddleboard rentals, you got your kayak rentals. There is so much to do here. And like I said, this is why it is one of the most family friendliest beaches, period. These activities that they have for the kids here, there's so much to do here. It is just a blast. They even have a hockey rink on the beach. How cool is that? Now this is Mother's Beach. This is another family-friendly beach here in Long Beach. This is for the youngins. So you, you see they have a clearly designated area just for swimming. No boats can get close to it or anything like that, so you are well protected. This is where the moms bring their little babies. And of course, over here you've got Marine Stadium, which is a great beach. But, you know, I can't just tell you about it. Let's go look at it. Okay, this is Marine Stadium. This is my spot here, okay? This is where I grew up. I learned how to water ski here. I learned a lot of different things here. Trust me, my older brothers used to take me here. And yeah, they taught me a lot of stuff when I was in high school here, okay? <laughs> this place is probably one of the best water skiing facilities that there is, period. You can pull your boat right up to the camp. You can have the kids jump out of the boat into the sand onto their beach camp. It is just a fantastic, fantastic day here. Right now the conditions are perfect. There's only like two boats out there I saw earlier. They're just doing a couple laps and they come in. And that's just a routine. You just go out here when it's calm. And it's just, it's great. This is just a phenomenal, phenomenal. I, I can't speak highly enough about this place. And it's a great family beach too. That's what I'm talking about. That's what's awesome about it. You can water ski, you can wakeboard, you can just go cruising on your boat through all the canals around here. And come back here and just have a great time. The kids love it. Hop up, bring the sunscreen for the kids, some water toys, some ski toys, and a few red cups, if that's your thing. And just have a blast down here. I've always had a good time down here. And it is still just a beautiful, beautiful spot. just for water skiing. They host so many different events here. They got the drag boat races. They have the dragon boat races, which is really, really cool, beautiful to watch. And like I said, it makes this one of the best family beaches that there is, hands down, that I've ever seen. I know somewhere else on the coast, there's probably some good ones, but the Long Beach, this is pretty damn good. Now, I hope you found some information in this video that will be helpful to you. If you have any questions about the neighborhoods or about any of the beaches that you saw today, please feel free to leave it in the comment below and I will get back to you. Okay, and until next time, you take care.